In the 11th century, the Christian kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula undertook the conquest of the territories occupied by the Muslims since the 8th century. This campaign that ended in 1492 was known as the Reconquista. In 1212, King Alfonso VIII of Castile decided to organize a military expedition against the Almohads in the south. He requested the collaboration of Pope Innocent III to declare a crusade and get the help of the kings of Aragon and Navarre and the participation of soldiers from the rest of Europe. The Almohad Emir, Muhammad al-Nasir, assembled a large army and waited for the Christians in a place called Navas de Toulouse. The Almohad army was formed on a small hill, in the front line with the volunteers and the most mobile troops. Behind them the central bodies of the infantry from al Andalus and Berbers from North Africa. Finally, in the rear his elite troops and Al-Nasir's royal guards surrounding his tent inside a small fortification. The Christians arranged their troops in three lines. The left wing with the troops of the Kingdom of Aragon, in the center the Knights of the Military Orders and Soldiers from Europe and the right flank troops from Navarra. The last line was commanded by the three kings together with their best knights occupying the center Alfonso VIII. The battle began with a charge by the first line of Christian troops that pushed back the weaker and less well-prepared Muslim volunteer troops. The Almohads, who vastly outnumbered the Christians, tried to surround these troops with their light cavalry in order to annihilate them. However, the second Christian line advanced to try to prevent this maneuver by reinforcing the attack on the entire front. The elite Amahad infantry, occupying the center, advanced equalizing the forces in combat. Faced with the uncertainty in the outcome of the battle, the three kings decided to carry out a charge at the head of their knights. The Christians managed to break the Muslim resistance and went to the royal compound, after which the Emir al-Nasir fled, accepting defeat. The consequences of this battle were decisive. Although it did not mean the end of the Almohad Empire, the military defeat led to a significant decline of the Almohads in the Iberian Peninsula and the Maghreb in the following decade. That gave new impetus to the Christian reconquest and drastically reduced the already declining power of the Muslims in Iberia.